Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about five tips and tricks in Power BI which will elevate your dashboard to next level. So let's get started with this tutorial. In the first section or the first tip of in this particular video, we're going to talk about having customized background for your dashboards. Now what these customized backgrounds will do is this will create a unique design so which is suitable for your dashboard. Now you can customize this based on your requirements and design. Now, for example, I have created this design using the PPT, which you can also create based on your requirements. If you want to learn how to exactly create something like this, I will leave a link in the description below. Please go check out the tutorial that I have made on the design of this particular um, dashboard. So what you can do is that you can go to the uh, format tab and under page background, you can click on add image. So once you have selected that, you can click on the image that you have created from the PPT and then decrease the transparency all the way to zero. Now you will see that it's all messed up. All you need to do is go to image fit and click on fit. Now this will exactly fit the way that you have created in your PPT. I feel it's important to have this in your dashboard because this is going to elevate the visual experience of your dashboard. Let's move on to our second tip. Now, if you can see here in this particular dashboard, all of our numbers here are in black and the title as well is in black, which is not very readable. Now, it is you can always go to the format tab and change the colors of uh, this particular title, right? So you can change the title like this. However, it is a tedious task if you have to do uh, changes to a lot of visuals like I have this on this particular page. So what you can do is you can simply go to your view tab and under this particular drop down over here, you can click on customize current theme. When this dialog box pops up over here, you can simply go to text under general, you can change the color to white and also change the uh, font based, uh, based on whatever that you like. For example, uh, if I like, let's say Calibri, I'm going to change the color to white because this is what I want. Well, I will change the color of all of my, uh, uh, cards title and the tab headers to white and change the font family to Calibri and then click on apply. So you will see that all of the changes have now been made. All of them are appearing now in white, which is much more readable. Now there are more options that are available for you to customize over here. For example, if you need a wallpaper, you can add that you can add a page background from here. If you need the filter pane in a different color, you can do that. For example, if you say that, uh, you know, my filter pane needs to be in red color, you can click on apply and you will see here now the filter is appearing in red color. Now you can, there are multiple options which here, which you can take a look at from this particular visual. I will leave that up to you. You can also customize the theme colors here based on your requirements. So feel free to go check them out in detail and use them as per your requirement. Let's move on to our next step, which is uh, about aligning the objects or visuals in your dashboard. For example, I have four different visuals over here, which are not very aligned. Now, if I have to do this manually, and if I have a lot of visuals or cards like these, it is going to take a lot of time. So Power BI has an option where you can simply go into, into the format tab and under align, you can click on distribute horizontally. This will distribute horizontally. And then again, go back to format, align, distribute vertically. Now this will distribute vertically as well. And then you need to go to align and click on align left. And all of these will be aligned automatically. Now, please note that the top visual and the bottom visual, the, uh, the location of these visuals is going to remain exactly there. For example, if I say that my my uh, the top visual needs to be, needs to start from here and my bottom visual needs to start from here and let's say if I have it something like this right and if I select all of them and go to format align distribute horizontally distribute vertically and align left right so my top visual and bottom visual are going to remain exactly in the same place where the visuals were already there please make a note of that all right Let's move on to our next step, which is about 
organizing the measures now in this table that i have over here i have a lot of measures here i have created quite a few measures and it becomes very cumbersome for me to go and identify what are the measures here or what are the columns here right i know that there is an i different icon for measures but still it gets a little cumbersome to identify the measures however it would be nice if all of my measures are there in a different table so how do we do this now let's go to the uh, home tab and click on enter data i'm going to create a new dummy table here calling i'll call this as key measures and then click on load so once this is loaded you will see the table uh, over here called as key measures what i will now do is i will go and select one of our measure for example dynamic title that i have created and if you click on this particular measure under the measure tools, you will see that the home table is saying it is 50,000 sales records, right? Now I can simply click the drop down over here and select key measures. Now this measure that I've created in this table is simply moved to the new measure table, which I have created. Now, all you need to do is click on the column over here, click on these ellipses and hide this particular column. Now this will automatically create a new measure section for us. It will hide the column that was created. Now what you can do is now you can move all of your measures into this particular section of the uh, table. All right. Now, since I have a lot of uh, measures over here, again, it becomes very tedious task to move each and every uh, measure. So what you can do is you can simply go to your model. Okay, and then you can simply click on these three ellipses against the table where you have your measures and then there's an option here which says select measures. So once you do that, all of your measures will get selected and under the, under the properties and general tab, you see there's a home table option and you can simply from this drop down select key measures and all of your measures will get moved under the key measures table that we just created. So by doing this, you will see all of your measures are in this particular section, which is easier for you to identify that these are your measures and these are only your columns which are there in your table. Now let's move on to our next tip on and the last tip for this particular tutorial. Now we create visuals to have better understanding and the moment you look at the visual, you need to understand what's going on with the data, right? Now, for example, if you see this uh, visual over here, we have positive values and we have negative values as well, right? It is slightly difficult to sort of read as to what is happening. However, if you think that, if we, what if we had two different colors, one for positive and another for negative, right? It would become much easier for us to tell the story as to what is happening in that particular visual. So to do that, you need to select the chart, go to the format tab and against the data colors, there's a little FX button here that you need to click, click on that and then select rules and what field is this based on. So I'm going to select the measure that I have created, which is my profit. Sorry, it's not here. It is in the orders table, which is profit calculation. Okay, so if it is greater than zero, this is going to be number. Okay, if it is greater or equals to zero and less than, I'm going to delete this so that becomes max. And then we need this in, let's say in green color. Okay, and, then, and, and another rule which says that if it is uh, greater than, so let's remove the zero here so that it takes minimum calculation. Okay, I'm going to get rid of zero so that min gets activated and if it is less than zero, okay, then I need this in, let's say this red color. Okay, I'm going to, then I'm going to click on okay and you will automatically see that all the positives have been highlighted in green and the negatives have highlighted in the red color. Now this chart looks very appealing and it is telling you the story right away the moment you look at that particular chart right so i hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video and you will implement the things that you have learned from this video i am making a lot of power bi tutorials on my channel of whatever that i am learning and i want to share with you guys please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the like button so that it reaches more and more viewers on youtube thank you so much for watching